Want to find out how to make this recipe? Stay tuned. <laughs> What's up guys, A Fitness just checking in. It's nearing the end of another long day at university. I've got, oh, fireworks are going off. Yeah, well it's Halloween today, so loads of people are gonna be out trick or treating and stuff. Yeah, nearing the end of another long day at uni. Basically today, we just went in to learn how to reference, which we've been told millions of times, so it's a bit of a pointless journey. But at the gym today, it was really weird because I saw a guy on the abs crunching machine. It's kind of a machine where you put your arms there and then you crunch downwards, but you can adjust the weight to how you want. And he really looked like the guy in the Skittles advert. You know, it's an old man who whacks the table and it turns to Skittles. Everything he touches changes to Skittles. Let me know if you know which advert I'm talking about. It just made me laugh after my shoulders and legs work out. But to end off the day, I need to eat now, so I thought I'd do another restaurant replica recipe for my restaurant replica recipe series. And if you don't know what it is, it's basically where I take a restaurant dish and then make a bodybuilding healthier version of it. So today I've chosen a very common appetizer, usually in American diners and stuff like that, of where you have oozing cheese, guacamole, salsa, draped over nachos, full of fat, full of calories, not really be able to fit it into any macronutrient diet plan, but I'm making a version which means you can. So here are the ingredients I'm gonna be using. You'll need three packs of these Be Good To Yourself Sainsbury's Cheese and Red Onion Flavor Crisps. Very good macros by the way, only 85 calories a bag, that's pretty good. Then I'm gonna be using some hot salsa from Sainsbury's. Oh, and you'll need 80 grams of that. This is 50 grams of Sainsbury's Be Good To Yourself Red Medium Cheese. Some Old El Paso guacamole, you'll need 50 grams of that. One rasher of Tesco smoked bacon medallions. And I'll obviously fry them in some, where is it? Some olive oil spray. I'm going to use some mixed herbs to put on top of the nachos. Well, crisps. And then, a jalapeno. On with the recipe, guys. Just to say that I've left a picture down below of what this starter normally looks like, and then you can compare it with my end result. Enjoy the recipe. So before we start this Mexican plate of heaven, we need to preheat the oven, if it focuses, to 180 degrees. So just before we fry the bacon, I'm gonna cut it up into little strips so we can sprinkle it all over the crisps when it's ready. Now we're just heating up the pan before we fry the bacon and I'll add some olive oil to this as well. The pan's pretty hot now so I'm going to add two sprays of olive oil and then we're going to add the bacon and let that fry. Listen for the sizzle. Oh yes, all oh, that goodness. And just give that a twizzle around the pan. Then we need to flip them over halfway through. So once these are cooked, they're pretty well fried now. We're gonna turn off the cooker and then leave them to the side. Right, now we've got our three packets of the crisps. Oh, I assure you, this is a part of the recipe. This is just my dog's dinner. We're not having that. So the temptation with this, guys, is to not eat the crisps when you've just tipped them out. So resist the temptation because the end product is gonna be even better. So next we're going to add the hot salsa and make sure you spread it evenly all the way around the crisps if you can. Spread it around a bit with your spoon if you have to just so there's quite an even coating over all the crisps. Then next we're going to add dollops of the salsa around the crisps so there's a good even amount everywhere. And just because I'm using salsa and guacamole in this recipe doesn't mean you can't change it guys. You could add sour cream, you could add other things, hummus, just depends what you feel like. I'll also leave the macros for this meal down in the description below and the amounts that you need for each ingredient so you know what to do. Now we've added both sauces, I'm just going to add a little bit of black pepper and then we can add just a little bit of the cheese at the moment. Just get a first little coating of it. Now for the daredevils who like a bit of heat like me, we're going to add the jalapenos, spread them all round. 
Just a little bit of a kick, you know. I did look for some Scotch bonnet chilies, but they were out of them at Sainsbury's. I'm not being a coward, but I would have added them if I could have. Hope you hadn't forgotten, guys, but we're going to add the bacon strips that we put aside earlier now. This is just going to take it to that next level of epicness. And finally, before we add the herbs, we're going to put the rest of the cheese on top. This looks like it should be a very high calorie meal, guys, very high fat. But in fact, this is easily going to fit into your macros. Whack it on there. Make sure you get every last bit of cheese. I've just added some mixed herbs now, and now we're going to put it into the oven at 180 degrees for a couple of minutes just till the cheese is melted. Hallelujah. See you in a minute. Oh, look at that lovely cheese. Smell it, smell it through the screen. Smell the bodybuilding gains, the goodness. I hope you enjoyed this recipe for my restaurant replica recipe series. Please make sure to check out my other recipes from this series. Leave a like, comment down below. I appreciate it if you checked out all my other videos, checked out my workout training videos, stuff like that. Subscribe to my channel and keep making gains. See you next time.